Hi guys, so today I'm going to tell you how to boil your menstrual cup on the stove or in the microwave. However, I prefer and recommend everyone to use the stove for boiling because uh, I'm not a big fan of microwaves and the waves that you get and it might ruin the quality of your menstrual cup over uh, repeated use. So, but once in a while it's totally fine if you're traveling or um, you don't have access to the stove, you can use microwaves. So let's start with boiling the cup on top of a stove. So I have water in this little pan here and I'll bring it to boil. Once the water has come to boil, you can immerse the cup inside and now let it boil for about 5 to 10 minutes. So I've boiled it for about 7 minutes. I'm going to take it off. Just be careful so you don't end up burning your hands. You can add a little cold water in there as well. If you want, you can rinse it again with drinking water, but I usually don't do that. I do prefer washing it during the cycle with drinking water whenever it's accessible. Otherwise, tap water is absolutely fine. So to boil the cup in microwave, you need a small microwave container. I like this one because uh, the shape is good. It accommodates any size cup and the lid fits quite loosely. So when the water is boiling, steam can escape easily even having the lid on. But you can use any microwave container. Fill it with water and just immerse your cup inside. And make sure that the water is inside the cup as well so that it can actually dip inside the container. So you can take a look. This is how it will look. You can cover it with the lid and place this in the microwave. It depends on the power of the microwave. You might need to boil it for 4 to 5 minutes. So I've boiled the cup in the microwave for 4 to 5 minutes. If you want to do it longer, you can open it, add a little more water and continue boiling for another 2-3 minutes. But 4, 4 minutes are usually fine. You have to be very careful because right now it's still um, quite hot and you can see water bubbling through. So to avoid burning your hand, let it cool down for a few minutes. Once the container is cool, then you can open the lid and take the cup out. After you've boiled in microwave and your container is dried, you might see a residue like this on the cup, which is totally normal and I think it's because of the salts present in the water. So when you're boiling water in the microwave, this is a salt residue that will be stained and it's very easy, just wash it and it will go away. 